this is Anthony Cesari with Success For Your Songs and in this video I'm going to talk to you about an easy trick that you learned about in grade school that you can apply to your lyric writing and that trick is simply alliteration and I'm going to talk about some uh, ideas that you can keep in mind when you're writing your lyrics on how to use alliteration in your songs. So check it out here. Alliteration is simply a uh, repetition in the the first sound of your words in a phrase. So an example of alliteration would be uh, rusted root. You hear that R sound twice. Even, you know, the name of this website, Success for Your Songs, that's definitely intentional. That S sound gets repeated a few times. You hear it at the beginning of success, in the middle of success, and then on the beginning of song. So every time that that S hits you at the beginning of a, of a syllable, that alliteration is, is kicking in. Now, you know, like in that, the example of success for your songs, this, this repetition of sound does not have to be at every single word in a line. A, a lot of times, if it is, it, it could be overkill. You just want to do it enough to have familiarity in the line of a phrase. Now, I also want to mention, too, that it tends to be a lot more effective to use this idea with consonants at the beginning of words. If you um, try to use alliteration with vowel sounds, a lot of times the vowels, they sound different. It's just the nature of what a vowel does. They'll sound different from word to word, and you may not even realize it because you're looking at these words on a piece of paper as, as you're writing them out. I actually um, I once saw somebody trying to define alliteration in a sentence that only used words that started with the letter A because, you know, they were trying to, to get their point across. But as I read that sentence out loud, I realized that, you know, all of those A's at the beginning of all those words just sounded different. So it wasn't really hammering home that idea of alliteration. This is really about, you know, these are songs here. So the sounds are what, uh, what matters. It's, uh, it's not what it looks like on a piece of paper. Um, even if you use, you know, a phrase like, uh, if you write out a phrase like kicking and knocking on paper, it looks like it has alliteration because it's, they both start with K, kicking and knocking. But the sound is different. You know, you, you, the kicking starts with a K and knocking starts with an N sound, even though there's a silent K there. And this idea of the sound being what's important, you know, I also alluded to the idea that it doesn't have to be the first part of the word and it also doesn't have to be the same letter. So think about a phrase like sweet but uncertain. There is definitely alliteration there. The S sound on the sweet and the S sound on the second syllable of uncertain create alliteration. Even though one starts with an S and the other one has a C in the middle of the word, it's hitting the beginning of a syllable, so you're still getting that alliteration. Sweet but uncertain. You can hear it when I say it, and that's what's important. Now these ideas, or this idea of alliteration, is most effective when you use it within a line. Like I said, that's why it's a good idea to use for the title of your song, or within a, maybe within a couple of lines um, that are close to the title. But, uh, you know, if you try to use alliteration throughout your entire song or an entire section, it'll probably sound kind of ridiculous, and you're going to kill yourself trying to do it. So the idea here is to, to have it land on a phrase, so if you have a phrase that's uh, memorable and then you tie it together with a melody that's memorable, you're really going to have people getting your song stuck in their head. All right, so hopefully that helped you out. If you're looking for a lot more techniques and ideas to improve your lyric writing, I have a couple of free cheat sheets for you right below this video so you can download them there. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for checking this out. Take care.